Hello, everyone! Welcome to Northern Waters. Large ships are not always able to pass between small islands. No shit. Alright. We are in the Bag Rush Home. Bag Rush. Bag Ration? I, yeah. This is a Tier 7 Premium Soviet Cruiser. Uh, and I'll be honest, I played one game right before this and got my butt kicked. So we will try and improve upon that in this game. <laughs> but we've got her rigged out with pretty decent range. You saw there, 18.5 kilometer range on a tier uh, 7 cruiser is pretty sweet. And you do get, this is a pretty, um, pretty gnarly torpedo range, or uh, like, uh, like firing angles that you get with uh, these torpedoes to eight kilometers on those. Um, so it's, you know, it's a well outfitted uh, sonar, radar, and heel are all welcome and nice things to have, right? So I'm trying to get in, into the sea cap uh, right behind this island here is my plan. Um, but if we get spotted and there's too many battleships that can shoot at us. This is, you know, like many other cruisers, you can get wiped out pretty pretty quickly, right? So we just want to make sure we have a decent angle. We're not broadside to big old battleships. Um, so I'm just keeping an eye. Ooh, somebody smacked that Bismarck pretty good. Uh, I wonder if we could hit him. Right. But yes, but so by getting right in front of this island, as we head into the zone, you know, this little chunk of land here, um, we remained unspotted for quite a bit there, right? So just shooting torpedoes. Since the zone is getting capped, I'm assuming there's a destroyer in there somewhere, and our eight kilometer range torpedoes are probably getting just long enough to get through the zone, right? So depending on where that destroyer is, um, we may get lucky, and it's always worth taking those shots. All right, All right so we will pick on the Fletcher here, though. Triggered my radar just to kind of make sure that this battleship that's pressing forward knows there's another destroyer in here, this uh, small one. But we will try and fin help finish off this Fletcher since he seems to be um, going down here. And down. So that's going to end him, whether it's our bullets or not. Um, and we're probably not going to get a chance to go after, what was that, Summoner or something like that? Um, this other destroyer right now, a small one. Um, so that's the... Uh, uh, in Europe or whatever, they, they might not have smoke screen, so that would be nice to be able to pick them up. So I'm going to just kind of constantly always assume there's a uh, potential, so we'll try and just get luck, the shot, luck shot there since that's where he was sticking his nose out, but I'm going to kind of always assume there's a, potentially some torpedoes coming our way. We do have a lot of battleships here, so we really do have to kind of keep ourselves concealed and out of line of fire from all of these guys or we will go down quite quickly so right at this moment um cheap shots and duck and move is the name of the game right so we'll just kind of go after what's convenient for us and what helps us you know what anything that's any situation where we remain unspotted right so this baltimore even though they aren't the greatest shots we'll take them and since he's far away and this Bismarck's pressing forward, so he's probably going to go down quickly. Now, if you're a lead ship like that, just, like, I don't understand why people don't. <laughs> like, you're going to get picked on, right? Like, if you're, the, if you're that far out in front of your, your buddies, um, that's no bueno, right? So everyone's going to gonna shoot at you. You don't have some sort of epic plan, you know? So this Turpitz looked like he was going to keep moving in this direction and then he starts turning. So, and I do not want to stay this way. So I will dump another rack of Torps just to the side of that island in case that small one decides to poke his nose out again. Um, we will have those on the way. It's pretty decent. You can shoot five out of those racks. Um, five Torps that go eight kilometers. We'll take them. Um, and then do intentionally hit this island so that I don't keep moving forward. And lucky for us, there were torpedoes there. So that's the other part of why we don't want to go outside. This island is not only preventing bullets from hitting us, but it is um, preventing torpedoes, right? Ooh, that turpitz is going to take some of those. Those weren't even meant for you anymore, buddy. You decided to turn away. Those weren't yours. Take them back. <laughs> 
All right, he's back in the cap, so we know the small end is probably back in the zone again. And now we are spotted, so he is probably off to our right or behind us a little bit, you know, something. Um, so this is going to be brutal. So I, I do hit full forward and as I'm turning away to try and slow <laughs> slow myself down there, but uh, we still got smacked pretty good, right? So that's what I'm talking about and why we are needing to be super duper extra cautious when playing a ship like this. You only get 43,000 health. And then that's it, and you're a cruiser with a nice big broadside, so you're an easy target, right? Okay, now I have concerns about where that small end is going. We are highly distracted by these battleships. So we may, if he moved off to the right, like outside of sea, we're gonna have to, yeah, I bet you he's out there. We may have to trigger our radar just to make sure he's not too close to us. So with the Soviet ships, you do get, um, it's like 11 and a half-ish kilometer uh, range uh, radar, so some people don't expect you to pick them up, and then you do, and it's glorious, right? Oh yeah, he's over that direction, there come his torps. <clears throat> so good thing we are pointed in that direction, right? So it's always smart to be pointed towards a destroyer and not broadside. It's, you know, it's a nice general rule of thumb for battleships and destroyers, right? Yeah, we're probably going to take one of these. Ugh, damage, damage, great. Right. Turpets, you can have some torps. And he's not looking at us, so we will turn to the right a little bit to try and get this rear turret to be able to fire at him, too. And he, so I was hoping he would keep turning, um, so he'd be a little more broadside. As you see here, we got five uh, ricochets, so we didn't do that much damage to him. We have our sonar going now for when the small end sends more torpedoes our way. Um, yeah, he's over there. <laughs> Alright, so I am hitting the brakes, I'm assuming he is, and, and turning left here, because I'm assuming he's already sent more torpedoes. So, but now that we know where he is, um, that, you know, now we, we can tell where torpedoes are going to come from. Right? So, switching to HE shells to go after him, um, if we... If he goes unspotted, we will use our radar in a second here. I can't imagine we're going to have the greatest um, angle on him because of these stupid mountains, these tiny little islands here. Um, but if we get our guns around, we get turned around, we might be able to do something. Took that shot just because I knew it was probably the rear turret. <laughs> so, uh, But it uh, looks like we didn't get any hits on him anyway. So we triggered our radar. I'm hoping these battleships, uh, or at least this guy here, has a shot on him, right? Um, but he, the small one, I don't, I don't think they have smoke screen. So the other thing too is, um, if we press on him, we could potentially keep him spotted and take him out. Um, there are only three ships left, so normally in this situation, I'd be like, ah, just leave that destroyer go. You know, like he's, you know, you're you're taking yourself out of the fight by chasing him down. But this situation, like. There's two battleships on our team in B that can probably handle that cruiser that's in A, right? So <laughs> um, so we will go and run down this destroyer. Especially since this is kind of towards the end of the game as well. And we're plenty, uh, plenty ahead on points, right? So small end, you're going to get all of our bullets the rest of this game, I'm sure. Um, oh, somebody else went down there. Cruiser went down. They literally have 10 points left, so if we get the kill on this guy, that should end the game. Because that will minus them those points. Get good hits there. We're going to have to hit our brakes to avoid these torpedoes and turn in towards them. And then I am hitting full forward again to try and get around and through this last one. I like to call that threading the needle. Oh, we did not get that kill. <laughs> <laughs> Those bullets would have hit him, right? I swear. They looked good. They looked good. So we will go through... Um, we'll see where we end up on the leaderboard here quick, but then I'll also go through how I have the commander set up because um, I am willing to take pointers on these. I'm not sure if I um, have sort of the best loadout. I always just kind of pick, you know, based on my own play style, um, you know, what I think makes sense to me. So definitely not the perfect loadout um, but this is kind of how I've done it and I've you know when I went for range quite a bit range and shell grouping right 
um, and then penetration multiplier for the um, inspirations, right? But so yeah, cruiser main battery range. Um, this one, because I, I like this because it increases sonar and radar duration. You get probably an extra two seconds, but whatever. And then AP shell damage multipliers, right? So make my guns better. More shell grouping and dispersion. So, um, and then I will almost always use fully packed. Some people like to use the um, refill station, which is not a bad idea either. Um, but that is it for now, guys. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel. We have more videos on the way.